came across a little bit of history in our search for the China Ditch. The Penstock. Water was collected from the ditch into a wooden structure known as a headgate. Attached to the headgate was a riveted pipe or penstock which carried water downhill and supplied the water cannon or giants. The pressurized stream of water was directed at the hillside, washing away the earth and its potential gold deposits. The resulting slurry was channeled through sluice boxes to collect the gold. That is cool. So it goes all the way up the hill. And I'm sure there's a head gate up there somewhere where the China ditch pours into. Let's go see what we can find. Sweet. Made it to the top of the mountain. We are looking for a historical feature named China Ditch. And we've come across this sign here. Where's the ditch? The China Ditch has survived the North Myrtle Fire of 1987, numerous landslides, flooding events, and logging operations. However, the ditch is disappearing. New trees, shrubs, and grasses have concealed it. Dying plant material and fallen trees are filling it in. Landslides are wiping out sections, and logging roads are covering portions of it. To see the ditch before it's covered up by the forest, the BLM has constructed a trail that parallels a two-third mile section of the ditch, Sections like this are reminders of the ditch's gradual loss of appearance, but it is still a visual reminder of the hardships the Chinese laborers experienced in the late 19th century. Let's head on down the road, see what we can find. Just walked a little quarter mile down the road. I could have driven down here now that I see. So it is a dead end at turnabout, roundabout there, but here's the trailhead marker that says, walk the ditch. Here's your chance to walk the China ditch. You can hike the trail from here for two third mile for a glimpse into the extent of this project. Keep in mind, this ditch was hand dug. The area was covered by timber. And this section is only 2% of the overall length. It may not seem like it, but you'll actually be traveling downhill at a constant 1% slope, which makes for an easy 20 minute hike one way. Oh, poison oak, ticks. Please use caution. Oh, here is the trailhead sign. And the trail. Let's check it out. history, mining history.
come to our first obstacles here. And we've got trees down over the trail. And a little bit of mudslide, landslide here. Be careful. Watch your step. Use the handrail. This is actually really cool. So we're walking in the ditch. This was all hand dug by, I believe, 400 plus Chinese laborers. Late 1800, early 1900s. This was to carry water to mining operations where they were hydraulic mining. narrow and slippery more trees oh. I'm stuck there we go. the tree had me and we're gonna go down this way and around Oh, need one of those handy dandy little six inch carry around uh, battery operated chain chainsaws you know a little I've seen them recently yeah oh, look at this what's this guy Look at him. Yeah. I believe this is... Uh, it is an edible mushroom. I can't remember what it is offhand. I'm not an expert. It's not one I've tried. But I believe it is related to the morel. I think it's in the same... Same family, genus, species, I'm not sure. Not a mushroom expert. But I like mushrooms. So learning every day. Under another tree. Oh. All right.
one and fall down that one. It goes all the way down. This is poison oak. <laughs> Walking through a big tree of poison oak, leaning over the trail. Nothing's got leaves on it right now because it's the middle of December. This guy here, this guy here caught my eye, but then this guy, not sure, let's see, ooh, gills, brownish, belly button top, oh, here's another little, this one, oh, this is an older mushroom. Yeah, that's, this is a, a lactarius, a, a lactarius mushroom. Um, can't remember the name of it. But, uh, lactarius, lactaria delicioso, deliciosis. <laughs> it's a delicious mushroom, apparently, to some people. But, yeah. I'm going to smell it. Hmm. Can't think of what that would be. No? Hmm. Just kind of fungally mushroom. It's probably pretty old. It felt pretty slimy. So, past its prime there couple of them going along here up the hill All right back on the ch back on the china ditch china ditch trail got distracted by the mushroom
Yeah, it's just slowly being swallowed by the forest. Still, what an amazing feat. For them to have hand dug a trench to haul water over to Lee Creek and Myrtle Creek area to run hydraulic mining. Can't remember offhand what the exact length of this ditch was when it was originally built. I think 40 miles in that range, I, I believe. But yeah, to hand dig a trench across the mountain tops at a 1% slope to transport water for mining. Now I'm just repeating myself. It's a little trail that goes off that way. This way still follows in the ditch. Yeah, this is all of these sticks and branches and bushes along the trail here. These are all poison oak. Just wandering through poison oak. Doing it for you guys so you don't have to do it. You can watch it here. Anytime you want, safe from all the poison oak. I love stuff like this. I mean, this is just, this is, this is where I belong. Wandering a hillside, exploring old mining history. Or just exploring, just out exploring the world. Careful, slippery slope, boy. Oh, 
over the tree. Have I said how cool this is? I mean, this is just so fun. I love this stuff. You never know what you're going to find. Spider webs across your face, never fun. But I wouldn't ask for anything else being out here. This is just so cool. Okay, so, oh, what what's this? Okay, we've made it to, well, I'm sure it still wraps around that way. And this trail goes down to the road. Oh, there goes a grouse. Not sure if you saw her. Um, well, let's go down to this road. See what we can find. Well, interesting. What do we have here? A sign. What's this sign say? Oh, trail. There's a trail. <laughs> Just went down that trail. All right. Well, I have no idea where I am at this point. Because there's a road that goes that way, and a road that goes that way, and a road that goes that way. There, the ditch is probably still part of this direction you know, over this way, because it follows that hillside. See what we can find. Yeah, it looks like okay. So it still continues. It comes around, goes along this edge, along here. Let's walk out this way, see what we can find. I'm sure at some point 
it crosses this road originally, like what it was talking about in the sign where logging roads cut through it. Yeah, we're going up a lot higher than I thought we would need to. So let's see. Look down over the edge. Anything that looks like a a ditch? No, not seeing it down there. It wouldn't be that deep yet. Is that it? No, that's not it. Looks like it could have been. And it's possible it was. I mean, this is, it's not up there anymore. We've come too high up. It's gotta have cut the, cut across. Here's a little drainage ditch and culvert. Hmm. Well, what do you guys think? Think I should keep going? Think it's time to turn around? And we did our two third mile. But I don't know where this road goes. So, I mean, it's headed in the right direction, but don't think I'll be able to find the bus that way. It's possible. We're going to go back this way. All right. So we got to watch, we, uh, we got to walk a, a stretch of the China Ditch. Really cool. That was a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed this adventure today, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, leave me a comment down below. I love reading your guys' comments. And uh, until our next adventure. Love you guys.